In this video, we're going to study the properties of parallelogram. And by the way, this is unit 7.2. Uh, I'm one chapter ahead of myself, 7.2. So what are the uniqueness about parallelograms? Uh, we know that the opposite sides are parallel. We know that the opposite sides are congruent and we know opposite angles angles are congruent and we also know consecutive angles or same side interior angles consecutive angles are supplementary And finally, we know the diagonals bisect each other. And this is really important. And everything else is um, determined by the, the, uh, the opposite sides being parallel. Um, but this one, you actually can prove it yourself if you wish. And if if uh, you have trouble, just come and um, um, ask me or Mr. G. Okay, so let's look at how we can use some of these properties. By the way, again, do not memorize it. Um, draw, draw out a parallelogram and then see by using, by using um, what we learned in chapter three about consecutive angles um, same side interior, same, uh, I'm sorry, uh, alternate interior, alternate exterior, and corresponding angles, and figure out if you can prove these properties. Um, it's not that hard to prove. But let's look at, um, let, let's look at some examples here. Here I have a parallelogram ABCD. Uh, it's asking for the length of AD. AD is opposite of BC, so BC is 8, AD must be 8. And DC must be the same as AB, so at 15. And if we know this is 68, I know angle D must be 68 degrees. And then I know angle A is 180 minus 68. That should give me 112. And angle C is opposite of angle A, and it should be congruent. Okay? So let's look at number three. Three, I have um, UT is opposite of RS, so UT must be 27 as well. And ST must be 18 because it's congruent to RU. VS, which is right here, right? Uh, VS must be congruent to UV at 7. And VT must be... Um, VT must be, be careful here, RT is given at 30, VT must be half of that at 13. Now I want you to pay specific attention that on the diagonals, notice that they bisect each other, but it doesn't mean that they're congruent with each other. They could be. When parallelogram becomes a rectangle, um, uh, it become a, becomes a square, then they, the, the uh, diagonals not only bisect each other, they are also congruent. All four parts are, are congruent. But short of that special condition, any other parallelogram, um, they only bisect each other. Okay? So. Okay, let's look at number five here. And this one is a bit challenging. I'm going to go through the sides first. So let's break down this problem up to here. I have x, y at 15, w, x, w, x at 22. So then I know the opposite sides are all congruent. And I have z, x is 52. I'm going to break that down into 26 and 26. Just it's easier for me to see. OK, so now um, let's see. Z, w is at 15 after I marked it up. 
ZY is at 22, TX is 26, and WY, um, I forgot to mark WT at 23, and then this part has to be 23. So then WY is WT plus TY, which should, be, uh, which should give me 46, right? So check my arithmetics. Um, so that's the sides. Uh, now let's see if I can erase this. No, I can't erase these things. Okay, I'm going to use a different color. Now let's look at the angles. The angles can be a little bit more challenging, but remember, you're using what we learned in Chapter 3. Uh, remember in Chapter 3, we went through that if I have a pair of parallel lines and I have a transverse, so, and then I create eight angles, right? And as long as I know one of the eight angles, let's say if I know angle one, I can f find out the angle measure for all the other eight angles. So if you find this challenging, go back and review chapter three or come and see me and Mr. G for a tutorial on that. So let's see, I have WZY, WZY. So this whole angle is 72 degrees. I have WXT, WXT, which is half of this at uh, 35 degrees and I have ZWT ZWT is half of that there and that's 59 degrees okay so um, let's see um, I'm asking let's see it may be easier if I find whatever I can find for now so for example, I know if WZT is 59, this angle must be 59 because it's alternate interior angles. So these two angles must be congruent. And 35 must be congruent, uh, I'm sorry, 35 must be congruent with this angle here. So that's, 35 degrees. Uh, let's see if I have enough information. I'm asked about T angle measure for TZY. TZY. So I just, that's the last angle I drew, that's 35 degrees. TZY is right here, right? So let's see if I can have a different color. Here is TZY. And uh, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So it's this whole angle here. If we know that the angle W, Z, Y is 52, then we know that X, Y, Z must be supplementary. So it's 180 minus uh, 72. That should give me uh, 108. Then angle measure XWT, XWT is over here. I didn't mark this one. And so I know that XWZ, the big angle here, must be congruent to this big angle here. And since I know XYZ is 108, then XWZ must be 108 as well. So therefore XWT, is 108 minus 59 and that should give me 49 degrees and finally x y t x y t is 59 degrees because it's alternate interior angles with um, y w z okay so it feels a little confusing because it's running in circles and also because my notes are so messy so after you solve the sides i would erase the information about the the side length and then mark down the angles and just use uh what i talked about earlier using these these um features that we learned information we learned in chapter three and it's actually not that hard so take your time and finish the rest of the um the notes of the first two pages Uh, I'm not going to do too much of this part with algebra. You guys are really proficient with it by now. So I'm just going to do one example here. Let's do number 10. Uh, number 10 says if NS, 
ns is here is 2x plus 7 and sq is 5x minus 23 and we're asked to find nq so to find nq we must find x and we need to look for a relationship and we know for a parallelogram that the diagonals bisect each other so there's your setup and if you solve it your x is 10 then you have to plug it back in to your equation and so you should have um, 50 you should have uh, uh, 54 I think right so the setup here can also be 2x plus 7 plus 5x minus 23 and then you should arrive at the same answer because s is is the midpoint of nq because it's being bisected by the other diagonal then i can just double this um, that's how i that's the shortcut i took okay uh, i will do number 14 so i have abc the big angle here is at 115 degrees and i'm asked to find adb so in other words i'm asked to find this right so uh let's see how do i do that now i know uh, i'll use a different color i know this angle and this angle are congruent because they're alternate interior and i also know that 4x plus 6 so that angle plus 6x minus 11 i add it up together they should equal the opposite angle which is 115 degrees so if i set it up like that my x will come out to be 12 after you finish your algebra and then you plug it back in minus 11 my final answer is 61 degrees okay so I will do a separate video for the next topic but for now finish this packet and I'll see you in class bye guys